Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Vikram Shekhar and I write a substack called Vix Newsletter where I explain a lot of in-depth stuff about semiconductors. A lot of you have been very supportive of starting a video form of what I write on Substack and so this is my first attempt at making a video. So thank you for joining me on this one. We live in an age where AI has suddenly made an entrance into everything in our lives. But most importantly, a lot of companies today are looking to introduce AI into the process of chip design. And this is only because chip design is a very lengthy process and it takes a lot of expertise and several years to make a chip happen. And companies want to speed this up, really. So just because LLM has shown up on the scene, does that mean we could just inject AI into everything? The answer is no. The reason for that is because chip design is inherently tribal. A lot of the information is just in people's heads. Nobody writes this stuff down. So how is an AI supposed to be able to design a chip if it has no data that it is actually trained on about how to design a chip? So the key is actually to document this tacit knowledge. But of course, if you ask an engineer to write everything down, they're gonna hate it and run away from the scene before you can say Mississippi. And if you look at the current engineering culture in especially hardware companies, most of the insight and documentation lives in PowerPoint land. And it is literally the worst form of documentation there is because it has no context outside the meeting it was presented in or the person who was talking about it. If you look at a PowerPoint later, it really doesn't spark any insights about what this whole thing is about other than just looking at a bunch of charts and graphs. But the other way to look at this is in a company, it's not just PowerPoints that exist. There's reports, there's specifications, there's one-on-one -on -one meeting transcripts, there are group meeting transcripts. Now, all of these could be actually artifacts you could feed into an LLM because Increasingly, LLMs support multimodal input, which means you could put audio, video, text, and even data and numbers into the LLM and have it generate insights for you. So it requires that we rethink what documentation means in the AI age. Now, it's not just the official documentation that is useful for learning what chip design actually needs. It is the information, the in-between messy mistakes, failures, tangents that engineers take during actual design work that is of most value. Now, how do you capture that? And it comes down to having something like a commonplace book. Now, if you've never heard the term before, it's just a notebook or a scrapbook or a lab notebook where you can just write down anything and everything that you encounter during the process of engineering. And that is very important because that's where most of the insights lie. Now, there are several famous people who have done this. You can look up Thomas Edison's diaries online where it has been digitized. All of the stuff he's written down, all of his insights are in notebooks. Then there is Charles Darwin and all his observations about the natural world. But a more recent example is from a French mathematician named Alexander Grothendieck, who believed that a lot of people just flatten mathematics by just writing down proofs. Instead, he documented every emotion, frustration, and tangent that he took in doing the actual work. And I think this is what we really need to capture in chip design. So the real idea is to go with a digital commonplace book. And that is exceedingly simple in today's day and age because you can capture videos, screenshots of all your engineering work. You could talk through with a microphone just like this one, all the thoughts that are going into your head and have it transcribed later with an LLM. Or you could just write down your notes you could in a physical notebook and then digitize it with an LLM. So by capturing this continuously, it is possible to feed a whole lot of insight into AI that you would never have had before. You could train an LLM with these insights locally on company premises so that all the company know-how is kept within the four walls of the organization. But there is one big challenge. Why would any engineer want to give away their secrets, their bread and butter, their bacon, to a machine so that it could replace them in the future? What would it take to rethink the way we create documentation so that machines in the future can help us create chips? Leave your comments. And for more, check out the actual article on Substack, whose link is in the description below.